What's up y'all? This is Tom and this is Like a Math Class. What we're going to talk about in this video is perpendicular bisectors. Perpendicular bisectors are where you've got two points uh, on a coordinate plane and you are cutting that the, the, the distance between those two points in half with a line that is perpendicular to the line that connects those two points. It's kind of a lot of information. Let's start sorting it out and see how this works. So what is a perpendicular bisector? As I've mentioned, it's a line that goes through the middle of two points or the middle of a line segment, which is a, another way of saying uh, two points, and it creates a right angle at the point of intersection. Now this point of intersection, we already said it goes through the middle of two points. So when we say this, this is what bisecting means, cutting in the middle. So that means you're having to find the midpoint of those two points. So we're gonna need a little bit more information than just dropping something into an equation of a line. We're gonna have to piece together various pieces of information to see how do we find this actual perpendicular bisector. Let's say we've got two points. We've got uh, our second point. We usually put our second point up at the top and then we've got another point down here. We'll call this x1 and y1. Um, so we've got these two points here. And we could connect these two points. And somewhere in here is going to be a midpoint, m. Right? So in order to find this midpoint, you actually need to use the midpoint formula. x1 plus x2 divided by 2. And y1 plus y2 divided by 2. I'll link that video down in the description below in case you uh, need a little bit of a, ref of a refresher on that. The next thing you need to do is you need to find another line that is going to cut across here and that's going to be perpendicular to this. So it's got to make a right angle, right? So this thing has to make a right angle. So in order for us to make a right angle there, we need to know what is the slope of our black line because when we find the slope of this uh, using our slope equation, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, that will then give us the slope of this, but then we need to find what is perpendicular to that. So the perpendicular, remember, for a line to be perpendicular, it makes a right angle, and to be uh, perpendicular, uh, we have the opposite reciprocal slope. I think that's how you spell it. Um, so we have to, if we're trying to find the perpendicular bisector or something, we have to go through multiple steps in order to get that. So let's look at an example and see what comes out of this. Find the equation of the line that is a perpendicular bisector of EF when E is negative 5, 3 and F is 10, negative 3. Let's just imagine that we've got some x, y axis, right? I'm going to be, I'm just going to, just going to throw these points on here. I'm going to call this, I'm going to make this my green point and I'll make this my blue point. So my green point is going to be negative five, three. So it's going to be somewhere up here, let's say. And actually, if I'm, if I'm being a little bit more precise, maybe it's, maybe it's there. And then we've got 10, negative three. So my blue point is going to be somewhere down here, let's say. So we're going to have some line that is connecting these two things, right? And we need to find the perpendicular bisector. So we need to find out where this thing is cut in half. We need to find what is this point. And then we're going to need to find the equation of the line that goes through there. And that's making a right angle. It's making it perpendicular. So the first thing we need to do is we need to find the slope, or actually, it doesn't matter if you find the slope first or if you find the midpoint first, because you're going to need both of those pieces. I'm going to start with the midpoint. The midpoint is going to be x, x1 plus x2, so negative 5 plus 10 divided by 2, and my y value then is going to be 3 plus negative 3, 3 plus a negative 3, or minus 3, divided by 2 also. So my midpoint then is going to be uh, negative 5 plus 10 is going to be positive 5 divided by 2, so that's going to be 2.5, and then 3 minus 3 is 0, 0 divided by 2 
is uh, zero. Anything Zero divided by anything is zero. So this is my midpoint. So that is where this line is bisected. Now I need to find the slope of this line. The slope is going to be y2 minus 3 minus y1 minus y1 over x2 10 minus y1 or x1 negative 5. So that's minus a negative 5 is going to be plus 5. So our slope for this is going to be negative 6 over 15. And both of those things are divisible by 3. So I'll have negative 2 fifths. So I've got a slope of my black line being negative 2 fifths. I've got the midpoint being 2.5 and 0. And now I need to find the equation of this. So first I need the slope of the perpendicular line, of the perpendicular. That's This is kind of like a subscript I, I sometimes do just to show, hey, this is the slope of what I'm looking for, the, the perpendicular line. So the slope of the perpendicular line says, take the opposite sign of this, of the original, uh, of the original slope. So that's gonna become a positive. So I'm gonna have a positive value and then flip this or find the reciprocal of this. So two fifths would become five over two. So it's gonna be a positive five over two. Now I've got the slope of the perpendicular line. I have a, a, a point that this line is going through. So I've got a point, I've got a slope, I'm going to use my point slope form, which is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. All right, uh, so let's drop these values in. y minus 0, there's my y1 because I'm now talking about this, so actually let's make that red, equals m, which is now 5 halves, times x minus x1, which is 2.5. So again, the, the point being, the point being that these, this is the point that we're going through and the slope is perpendicular. So this is kind of nice, that simplifies out. So I'm left with y equals five halves of times x and then five halves times 2.5, uh, that's 2.5 times 2.5, which is, uh, minus uh, 6.25. So if we wanted to be a little bit better with this, we would keep decimals and decimals. So instead of converting this to a, uh, a fraction, we could just make that a decimal. So y equals 2.5 x minus 6.25. And there we go. I hope that helps you understand all the pieces that you need for finding the perpendicular bisector of a line. And I hope you can help me by hitting the thumbs up and give me a like on this video so we can spread the good word. Uh, that's it for this video and I'll talk to you in the next one.